In this video, I'll be answering the question, can you wireframe on an iPad? I've shared quite a few wireframing tutorials in the past. I'll leave a link to those in the description if you want to check them out. But none of them have focused on actually wireframing on an iPad. So I'll be testing out three different apps on my iPad Pro to see which one works best for wireframing. So let's get started first with Vectornator. This is actually a free app right now. You can use it to create all kinds of design projects. So the first thing I did was resized my artboard to a vertical orientation to test out some wireframes for an app. Right away, the first thing I notice is that there's a transparent background, which is what the white and gray checkerboard pattern means. So in order to have a white background, I drew a white rectangle and locked that on one layer and then created another layer to add my wireframing elements on top. Since I'm not too familiar with this app yet, I tested a couple of different tools from the pen tool, the pencil, and the brush. I think what works best is the pencil tool, but you'll definitely want to play with the stroke and get it large enough that you can actually see it. With the pencil tool, you definitely create a lot of imperfect lines which is okay for the first pass at wireframing. You're just trying to get ideas out quickly. So on this layer, I drew elements like a navigation, a logo, space for a headline, CTA, and photo. But when it came to making another artboard to create the next wireframe, I wasn't exactly sure how best to do this, so I had to play around and find the settings. What was a little annoying is that there wasn't really an easy way for me to copy and paste the same artboard size. So instead I just used one of the presets. From there I did the same thing again. I drew a white rectangle on the first layer, locked it, and then drew my wireframe elements on top with the pencil tool using a black stroke of about 8 pixels. I think Vectornator has a lot of amazing features and is a great free design app. But for wireframing, I found it to just be too cumbersome. There was just way too many options. Again, when you're in that first stage of wireframing, you want to get ideas out fast. So the more that you're concerned with formatting and creating straight lines and perfect shapes, the less time you're spending actually creating different layouts for your idea. However, I do think this would be good if you were trying to create more polished wireframes. But again, as someone who's used to creating wireframes on a computer, I just found the process of making a wireframe on an iPad to be really slow. I just couldn't work my fingers fast enough. But if I practice and did this more often, then I'm sure I would get faster over time. For the next app, I'm testing Adobe Comp, which is an app that comes along with the Adobe Cloud subscription. The first time you open this app, you'll get this nice little intro video that quickly shows you how to use it. It looked really cool how you could draw boxes and then wait a second and then it would kind of predict what you are trying to create. So I was curious if this would make the process faster when wireframing. For the first wireframe, I actually just started by creating different shapes using the menu and just discovering what it had to offer. Similar to Vectornator, this made the process a lot slower, but it did create more polished wireframes. I would use the different options to draw out a rectangular box and use the duplicate feature to duplicate these menu items in the navigation bar. I also tried out the text so that I could emphasize that the top right hand element was a CTA and not just some other piece of text. Then on the second wireframe, that's when I just started drawing with the Apple Pencil and letting the app auto-suggest what it is that I wanted to place there. For example, drawing a rectangle with an X to signify an image placement and several lines for a text box. I think with a little bit more practice, this would become more intuitive, but I still found it a really slow process. For the third app, I'll be testing Procreate. 
I happen to be more familiar with the Procreate app, so I wasn't struggling and figuring out how to do things as much as I was for Vectornator and Adobe Comp. One of the things that I love about sketching with Procreate is how it sort of auto-corrects your lines. It makes them straighter and creates shapes if you were to draw a box, for an example. You can, of course, adjust these settings per each brush that you use, but I think it's a nice feature. You noticed how when we used Vectornator, it did not correct the line at all, which gave the wireframe a very rough feeling which is okay, but if you want something that's a little bit more cleaned up as you go, Procreate might be a good option. I also find the interface and just the way that you can navigate through the artboard on Procreate to be a much more smooth process. You can pinch and zoom and rotate easily without accidentally touching another tool and creating a line and doing something that you just have to undo. The layer panel is also more intuitive to me and the way that you can create selections. So if you wanted to copy and paste things, it's super simple. You just draw the lasso tool over it and it's just easy to duplicate elements. It's still a slower process compared to using shift option on a computer, but it's the next best thing. The one thing I did do differently on Procreate that I didn't with Vectornator or Adobe Comp is I just used an extra large canvas and drew several different wireframes in it instead of creating different artboards because that's not something that you can do in Procreate. You could do the same in Vectornator, but it would be a little bit strange just because of the way that the program works. And the same with Adobe Comp. It's not how it's meant to be used. So that was a quick wireframing test on three different apps using an iPad Pro. Now, I know there are so many different wireframing apps out there, both free and paid. These are just a few that I already had downloaded. So far, the one that I'm most drawn to using for quick wireframe sketches is Procreate. At the end of the day, you should go with whatever program you are most familiar with and can work quickly in, rather than an app that might be specifically made for wireframing, because some of those can actually be much more complicated. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What are your favorite apps to use for wireframing? Do you personally use any one of these three or have you found something else that works better? Leave a comment below and let me know. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more. And check out one of these videos next.